in a distant galaxy. The Mother World is a militaristic empire fueled by centuries of conquest and war. The current king welcomes a daughter, Princess Issa, who possesses a rare gift of healing and resurrection. This is taken as a sign of redemption for the Mother World, as the royal family has grown weary of conflict and hopes that Issa will unify the empire not through force but through compassion. Instead, Issa and her parents are publicly assassinated during her coronation, and Balisarius, a prominent senator, declares himself regent and renews the empire's conquests with the support of Admiral Atticus Noble, a sadistic military leader. On the independent planet of Velt, Noble and his men arrive and insist that Father Sindri, a local village chieftain, sell them grain to replenish their food stocks as they hunt for a band of rebels known as Clan Blood X. An ambitious farmer named Gunnar disagrees with Sindri's refusal to deal with Noble the Admiral then beats Sindri to death and orders Gunnar to prepare all of the village's grain before he returns. One of the villagers, Cora, packs her things to leave, but when she sees Imperium soldiers attempting to rape a young woman, she confronts and kills them. Cora reveals to the villagers that she is a former member of the Imperium, the Mother World's finest troops. Cora and Gunnar depart for Providence, a nearby port town, to assemble a band of warriors and defend Velt against Noble's fleet. They first recruit Kai, a smuggler and criminal. He takes them to two additional warriors, a tamer of beasts known as Terak and a talented cyborg swordswoman, Nemesis. Cora ventures to a remote moon to recruit Titus, a disgraced Imperium commander reduced to prize fighting. Gunnar learns from Korra that she was raised by Balisarius after her world fell to the Imperium, and that she feels a sense of guilt for Issa's death as she once served as the princess's bodyguard. Knowing that they cannot defend against Noble's ship, the king's gaze, the warriors use Gunnar's previous dealings with Clan Bloodaxe to meet their leaders, siblings Darian and Devra, and request the use of their starfighters. Darian and half the clan agree to help, but Devra who considers such a fight hopeless and a waste of their resources, retreats with the other half to safety, under the pretense of offloading the last of his illicit goods to start a new life. Kai takes the group to a trading post, but captures them as Noble's ship arrives, revealing he had always intended to betray them for the bounties on their heads. Noble reveals Korra's true name as Arthalay. Gunnar kills Kai and frees the group, and Darian and many of his troops are killed. Korra fights Noble, throwing him off the post's high platform, and the surviving warriors make their way back to Vel together, heavily injured but alive. Noble is recovered by Motherworld forces and revived after having a psychic conversation with Balisarius, who demands that Noble end an insurgency against him and bring Korra to him alive, so he can execute her himself.